we will treat this tooth that has recession here, as you see, with zero attached gingiva marginally. Uh, the first premolar, which has an existing restoration, um, I may bevel the margin a little bit, but there's not a, a great a papilla length here to gain much coverage on that tooth. On the canine, uh, there's a notch in the root surface, pretty significant notch, and no attached gingiva will include it. Same thing with the incisors. Uh, each of the, um, the three incisors, the left lateral, left central, and right central, have uh, some notching and uh, insufficient marginal tissue. The uh, right lateral incisor has adequate tissue and, and we can't cover the root there. If you look at the papilla between the centrals, you'll notice that, um, and I'll give you a better view of that in a moment. In fact, let me just turn this way. Um, this papilla is very narrow and um, it will not allow any root coverage here. There's um, some width between the teeth. I can pass the probe between it, so there should be a sufficient uh, strength of the papilla. It shouldn't separate, uh, particularly because it's healthy. But we don't expect any root coverage on um, these two incisors. Um, maybe a very slight amount on this incisor, so we won't, um, we won't do a lot of root prep other than just bevel that, um, that margin next to the gingiva. On the canine, um, we can do a little better because there's some uh, greater papillary height. If we use the three millimeter mark, um, we can maybe get 50% root coverage on the canine. Um, and turn toward me now. And we should be able to get complete root coverage on the, um, on the second premolar. And just really gentle. I think you should notice that the whole procedure's been rather gentle. And we'll make sure that this is down below the cingulum lingually. And just gently nudge that coronally. Melissa, we're just having a hard time uh, keeping our patient awake. But it's, that's a good thing, I think. That's a good thing. Um, let me do the...